Hey guys, it's Chris here with selfmanyby.com and in this video we're going to go through the best dog harnesses currently out there today. So I've kept this list as, as comprehensive as possible so no matter what you're looking for there'll definitely be something on this list for your situation. So before we jump in drop a like, subscribe and turn on that bell if you want to be updated with new videos. Okay, so I'm going to just skip all the fluff as usual and just jump into my top recommendations and if you want to see what they are or confirm what they are, go to the description there and check out that list along with the best pricing. Alright, so jumping right in, I'm going to start off with my best overall favorite and this is the Ruffwer Front Range Dog Harness. This comes with five size options from X, double extra small to extra large with all four adjustment points. The Ruffwer Front Range Dog Harness can provide the right fit for any kind of dog. The foam padded construction of the overhead style harness is designed to be gentle and comfortable so it won't chafe or irritate your dog. And when preparing for walks, the well constructed harness has two leash connection points, a beefy aluminium V ring on the back and a reinforced webbing loop on the chest to correct pulling. Um, although I recommend using this harness with dogs that are already trained uh, not to pull. This is suitable for daily walks, it's easy to clean, it's durable to handle outdoor activities and there's also a built-in 360 degree reflective piping that keeps it more visible during low light conditions. So the pros of this, it features a non-absorbent material that's durable and easy to wipe, the four adjustment points, the 360 degree reflection piping, the two leash connection points, and the pocket for ID information. The cons for some might be that this harness has to go over the head, uh, and I know some uh, dogs just don't like that, but I'm kind of nitpicking there. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best fitting, and this is the Blue Nine Balance Harness. Uh, this is a relatively minimal design as well, but it does a great job of comforting a dog's body without getting in the way. It comes in five different sizes and has six points of adjustment, so you can find the perfect configuration and it won't chafe or impede your dog's movement. It has a Y-neck design at the front, which fits higher up on your dog's neck, uh, though still below where the collar typically rests, so that it doesn't impede the front legs. It has two attachment points for a leash in either the back or the front, making it very useful for no pull training and also other adjustments uh, for your dog's leash etiquette. It's also great if you have a nervous dog since it has a buckle for the neck portion of the harness, which means you'll never have to pull it over your dog's head like the last one. This also comes with a 90 day chew warranty where you can replace chewed or, dam or a damaged harness for half the price. So the pros of this, it has six points of adjustment to fit any dog type or body type. No chafing or restricting of movement. It has a front and back leash attachment, uh, the buckle on the neck so you don't have to pull a harness over your dog's head. And it, it comes in a range of colors. Uh, the cons are the thin webbing might be vulnerable if your dog is a notorious chewer of objects. There's also no reflective portion either. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best budget option. And this is the Rabbit Goo No Pull Dog Harness. So this comes with a padded design for comfort with two connection points for the leash back and front. It's suitable for a variety of outdoor uh, activities uh, or situations and it's available in five sizes and 14 different colors. But this is also an overhead style harness. It has four points of adjustment though, so it can be modified to fit most dogs. Uh, although the straps might be a little bit bulky for very small pups. There are two fast release buckles on either side of the torso, which make it easy to clip the harness securely in place and also take it off. It also includes an airy mesh lining, a sturdy top handle for when you need to keep your dog extra close and also reflective stitching, which is great for nighttime walking. So what I like about this, the padded construction to resist chafing, the four points of adjustment and those fast release buckles on the torso. The cons which I mentioned, the straps might be a little bit too wide for smaller dogs, so do be wary of that. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best option for training and this is the Pet Safe uh, Easy Walk Dog Harness. So this gives you more control over your dog than really any other on this list. The Martingale loop on the front 
uh, that, which is patented by PetSafe will stop your dog from pulling and twisting, which is essential when training. This is also designed to offer a safe and snug fit without any chafing or discomfort, while also giving the ability to steer your dog back towards you whenever they start pulling or misbehaving. The webbing constructed harness sits across a dog's chest instead of near their throat, which provides an additional layer of comfort, which is not indicative of many no-pull harnesses. Another major part that distinguishes this is its colored belly strap, which easily, easily lets you know the harness is on correctly. And in terms of the fit of this, it is fairly narrow, so for larger and especially wider dogs, this might be a little bit too tight. So the pros of this one are the effective no-pull design, the colored belly strap to make it easier to know when it's fit, the fact that it fits comfortably across the chest, and the very wide range of sizes. Uh, the cons are, again, a little bit narrow in design, so not great for a wider build, but keep watching and I do have something for you if that is your situation. So coming to my recommendation, the best for big dogs, this is the Two Hounds design. Freedom, no pull dog harness and leash. So while on walks, if you have a big dog, it can be difficult to rein them in and keep them from pulling. Uh, but this is designed to accommodate dogs weighing up to 250 pounds with a maximum chest of 44 inches. So this patented design features two stainless steel D-rings for leash connection, one at the front that avoids the sensitive neck area and a martingale loop at the top. For optimal control, the harness should be used in tandem with a double connection training leash uh, that has two prongs for simultaneous attachment to both harness clips. So no pull dog harnesses are often sold with that training leash, but you can also purchase one separately. So for dogs that like to lunge, for example, this harness gives the leash holder a needed double powered assist to counteract the momentum of a dog hurling itself forward. The extra strength strap of the harness that goes around the belly from behind the armpits to the lower chest allows for wielding a great deal of control without any unnecessary discomfort directed towards the dog. So the pros of this, it can accommodate very large dogs up to 250 pounds with a chest of up to 44 inches wide. Um, when used with the double connection, it can also be a great training option. Um, this harness offers really unmatched control, the rip resistant fabric and chew proof guarantee. Um, also just heavy duty stainless steel rings with this as well. Now this also has to be put on over the head. Um, so if you have a nervous dog that doesn't like that, just make a note of that. All right guys, so that is my top absolute best five. Whether you have a large dog, a smaller dog, you want something more fitting or my best overall pick, there should be something here for you. But if you do have any questions, drop them below. And if you found value in this video, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.